Thursday in Central Park at the Bow Bridge. Crown jewel of Central Park, the Bow Bridge's Archer's Bow has held the hearts of many New Yorkers since its construction in 1862. It was crafted of cast iron and designed in the classical Greek refinement by Calvert Vaux and Jacob Ray Mould. The bridge here was named for its resemblance to a violinist or Cupid's bow, which spans a total of 87 feet 60 feet over water and has a walkway constructed of ipe, a South American hard wood that turns a rich deep red when wet. The bridge here has eight three and a half foot tall planting urns, cast iron replicas based off the originals. The originals seemingly disappeared in the early 1920s, but were finally replaced in 2008 when the bridge underwent restoration. The bridge here swoops over the lake, connecting the two areas of the Bethesda Terrace and Cherry Hill with the natural aura of the Ramble, a tree-covered woodland walk that allows New Yorkers to get lost in a little bit of nature. Passageways here were created as part of a plan by Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Vaux, the creators of Central Park. It was part of a plan to develop an interwoven transportation system of pedestrian paths, bridle trails, and carriageways. They wanted a system of compact bridges and archways that would allow for a large amount of competing paths within a small area. The Bow Bridge and its passageway are a pure example of what they envisioned. in New York City, the Cast Iron Bow Bridge was reputed for a long time as having giant cannonballs set in its foundation. There were notes in the original plans for the bridge to use cannonballs as movable bearings to help allow the cast iron to expand and contract. It was one of the many great myths of New York, with every book detailing it until 1974, until that very same year when the bridge underwent restoration and they found no cannonballs. That's too bad, it would have been an interesting fact. 